Hello everybody and welcome back to my video log to my channel. Uh, I really do feel the need to go over these um, 0 to 30 volts and 2 milliamps to 3 amp Highland or non-Highland uh, power supply boards. Now the reason why I'm reiterating this is because there are still people out there building these and they are not giving out the correct information. And they have affiliate links and it annoys me that they will build them and show you in such a way that it doesn't actually show you whether these work or not. And I'm here to tell you now that they don't. There is one board that I've come across. There are four boards I know of these, four variations. And I saw one on the IMSAI guy channel. He's, his one is 0 to 30 volts, 3 amp power supply kit, EQ kit, EQ kit, which is a different variation to these. The um, up amps, these uh, little ICs here, go in a horizontal line across the board. I've never seen one of those before. Uh, unfortunately, it's inconclusive to whether that actually gets up to 30 volts because he didn't put a 24 volt AC supply on his and he only put a bulb on the output so we didn't get to see whether it's 30 volts or not. Inconclusive. This here, I'll put a link. Um, this here is a working one. You can tell uh, that it works because I've made videos showing that these work up to 30 volts and 3 amps plus a little bit more, it will drop the voltage down to sort of like, you know, 28, 27 volts. But you get a bit more out of it. Uh, I wouldn't run that like that. I'd go with a spec recommended three amp output. And you can identify these by these little boy type holes, which is different to this. And it is different to this. The EQ kit has like little uh, metal it just looks like it is a little metal thing. I'm not going to put a link to his video there, but um, you can look that up. It's actually, it says uh, number 710, 0 to 30 volts, 3 amp power supply kit, EQ kit, if you want to look up his video. So there's the differences on these corners. Now, the other differences that stark is that the voltage regulator which regulates 24 volts here. And yes, you can use different voltage regulators if you like. You can even stick a 5 volt regulator on there. Just don't try and pull loads of current through it unless you've got this attached to your heatsink as well. Even though this doesn't have, you know, forget about it. This works, this will get you up to your 30 volts, but there's a little bit of an issue with the um, noise that comes off uh the regulator when you check. There's a lot of noise there. So I would say that this is a slight fail as well. Um, but it does get you 30 volts. Now these don't, and I have not come across one video. Now, please don't just start telling me in the comments that, you know, someone that made this work and you've seen it. No, 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 no. I've looked and I've searched specifically for people building these boards. And what I find there's a lot of people out there doing some very well known channels as well, uh, do it, but they either don't put the 24 volts in here. And none of them show 30 volts coming out of here. 23, 24 volts. They put a, a lower voltage in here and you get a much lower voltage out of there. The calculations that they're doing, uh, I saw one, um, was that you only get 23 volts out of here because you're only putting 24 volts in there, but that's not how it works. AC rectified to DC is a um, AC input times 1.414, which will give you about 33 volts. So you've got a little bit of uh, voltage being dropped uh, across terminals here. You've got little little bits you're losing and uh, your output will be around about 30 volts here. As I've seen other people have left comments saying you can directly connect a DC input to this um, supply capacitor. And that doesn't work either because these um, ICs are differential input, which means you need a positive voltage and you also need a negative side of the voltage as well. So let's say two 16s, yeah, or two 15s, uh, 15 positive, 15 negative. Uh, and that's what this little uh, bit of circuit down here does. 
So not one of these have I seen giving the correct output. They all claim that this is a good buy and most of them have affiliate links, which is the thing that really annoys me, especially when I keep being asked on my videos about these. I thought, you know, it's, it's best to say to you, look, this is the problem. What you get is uh, in your advertising picture on a lot of these um, where you buy them from. And I'm sorry, I can't, I, unless I went through all the suppliers trying to buy a batch from all the suppliers to find out who gives you the right ones. Um, there's not a lot I can do, for them, but I, I can't, I can't find out who is genuine and who isn't without spending a lot of money doing it. And I'm sorry, I can't afford to do that. But what you get on the advertisements is you get a picture of this generally, and you'll see it here. And you might watch one of my videos who's stressing to you, don't buy them unless they're like this. Um, and you'll be sent one of these. No one so far I've seen. And I went looking, I went hunting, I was just trying to, please let there be a video out there so I can tell people, hey, yeah, you can go and look at this. Um, I've heard people say it's these ICs are wrong. I've, I've heard all sorts of, but if you've got a claim that one of these works correctly, please put a link in. It will be held for review because I don't just allow links in, otherwise you'll have a big link party going on and that's not what the channel's all about. But I will look for the next two weeks and I will look at my held comics now what i want to see is a, a timeline link to where they put the 24 volt ac in here and then another time on when you get the 30 volts out of here all right this isn't about the current the past transistor doesn't have a problem dealing with the current here is whether this and i think it's u3 is the one that determines what comes out of here and it's about whether you get the the full out of here all right 30 volts 24 volt input 30 volt output i'll be looking at those links for the next couple of weeks please if you've got any evidence that this works just and it's after two weeks just say hey i've left the link for you it's not going to show up uh, i've left the link for you and i'll go and look at the uh, how links but i'm telling you now guys you, you want to go out and buy one of these you, you think it works unless you see a video that's showing you that you can get 30 volts out of it you won't. If you're happy with 23 volts out, you're putting your 24 volts AC in here, you're really getting 23 volts out of there, fair play. All right, that, that, that's up to you. And I've got no uh, I've got no issue with that. What I do have issue with is when people are trying to tell you that you will get your 0 to 30 volts. And, uh, and you, you quite clearly can't. Right, now I'm going to get on with a much better video, one that I really prefer to do rather than this. Thanks for watching if you got this far. And don't get suckered. Don't get fooled by um, by these. And uh, if you are going to buy one, make sure, take a photo or something of one of these and with these and send the seller images and say, is this one I'm going to get? Because if I'm not going to get this, I don't want it. You might not hear from that seller again, but um, you're much better off getting a board that's going to work than one that isn't. Bye for now. Take care, everybody.